All right, guys. This is Michael Re from Sp uh, bah, Michael Re, and uh, <laughs> and uh, today I'm showing you uh, a map that I like to call Hangar. This is the map that I was talking about. That's like that's like shipment, but even stupider because there's basically there's so many more places you can camp and hide around. Um, but yeah, I, this is this this map is actually pretty fun when there's not that many people running around. Uh, Sniping you, <laughs> oh god, sniping you with shotguns, because if not, it's just going to be a big clusterfuck of people just uh, being becoming medics and just sliding around and uh, shotgunning you for days on end, and can't avoid uh, those engineers, oh god, can't avoid those engineers placing claymores in the, you know, the corners, god, you threw my mouse sensitivity again, I think, I'm my way. This map does have its up and downs, like, most of the time you will go negative, but there are those days where, like, you're playing a completely incompetent team, and, oh, jeez, thank you for that one. And, yeah, you'll just go ham sa sandwich on all of them, and you're, uh, you'll be, you'll get, like, 50 and, like, 10 or something. Or, like, 15 and 1. Come on, get at least one of them. Slide! Oops, sorry. Oops. Sliding is one of the literally one of the best ways to get out of sticky situations. <laughs> and I love the how you can reload while you're sliding. It's pretty fun to do that. Utilizing sliding is going to be one of the uh, main key, uh, one of the key things into in playing this game. Uh, and if if you guys haven't noticed, uh, Warface just uh, I mean Crytek just came out uh, with their uh, with a, tr a another what do you call it trailer right? teaser trailer for Warface. And that's actually a pretty good one. I, I found it pretty uh, entertaining. A lot. Of, I, I did read a, a, a lot of the comments on there, and they're just saying like this looks like uh, this game looks like complete uh, like shit. It looks like it's gonna be like another combat arm. So like a oh jeez, I didn't even see that guy. Uh, a type of game where it's a free, it's just a free to play and nothing's gonna go right. Um, I don't think so. Like it, it's doing pretty well in Warface in uh, in Russia. It's, you know, people are enjoying the game, there's people, of course there's going to be those, um, idiots, uh, and, uh, just flamers that, chicken corners that, uh, just really hate on every game, just even though they have no basis for it, because they're losing, and, uh, yep Yeah, I, I, you, uh, oh yeah, when you, t when you die, you tend to, like, sit down a lot. <laughs> Brings a whole new meaning to only use me blades. Um, you know, saying, right there. Now when you sit down, you actually do sit down. I'm pretty sure if only we really played this game, he'd do pretty well with sliding, or being able to slide around and meleeing people with, uh, with those knives. Like you can use a katana, or I mean a machete, a shovel, just like different types of knives that are faster or slower. <coughs> and uh, yeah, I, I think I, I, mean, I think it, this game will be pretty successful. As long as they implement, like I, like I said in another video, uh, a anti-cheat and anti-hacking system. Because right now, it, as of right now in closed beta, it's pretty, uh, there are, it's pretty uh, rare, but there are people that do hack. This is a kill. Do hack, and that's just ridiculous. Why are you, take, why are you taking the fun out of the game so quickly? It's just going to deter a lot of people from playing this game. Huh. <coughs> Well, oh yeah, what I do, uh, what I also hate about it, uh, I'll probably talk about it a lot in my, when I do show you a video of co-op, is the fact that there is no, uh, like, for G, since it's a browser in integrated game, like, like, you basically run the game through a, the GFace experience plugin, um, like, the multiplayer, there is a lobby, uh, a lobby system, so, like, you can't, I mean, there's a lobby system, I, I mean, like, there is a chat, you can talk to people in there, like, there's an in-game, um, like, a lobby chat, um, uh, thing, but in, in, uh, co-op, for some reason, they didn't even put that in there, I don't know why they didn't put it in there, because now you can't even talk to people who you really need to work with, it's like, they're expecting you to use only VoIP or something, or they expect you to play with friends, so, the, over, like, over Skype or something, so you know what, what role each person is playing, but since now you can't even do that, it's it's most of the time it's not gonna end well. Like as of right now, I've I've gotten lucky, but there were a few instances where I was playing again. We're playing with a group of uh, of the like the the stupidest uh, FPS players I've seen, and they would just 
Like this guy tries to snipe a um, a uh, NPC across a map with a shotgun. I'm like, even though that does happen in multi in multiplayer, you can't do that in the co-op. It doesn't work. And he just sat there uh, and just kept shooting and shooting and shooting and shooting. And eventually, until he got killed by the heavy gunner. And it was ridiculous. Um, that was not a lot of fun. I don't remember if we win or lose this one. I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose this one just because my team's not doing so well. <laughs> and for some reason, the, like some people just can aim, like while sliding, they'll, they'll they can snap back and do 360 on you and shoot you while you slide past them. I don't know how they do it, but they can do it. <clears throat> like I I keep trying to do it, but I can never do it. Like so far, it's been unsuccessful. So I always try to like. Utilize the sliding to when it's necessary. I don't just slide everywhere and get caught up because I don't want to get caught off guard because that's no fun. Oop. <laughs> it's very good to get uh, to. Oh, yeah, see, as you can see here, you can shoot through um, sheet metal. I don't know if that guy saw me or if he just like just randomly just shot up there or he had aimbot or something, but Phoenix Orion just goes. Just beast all over our team we just get destroyed it doesn't go too well for our team with that guy playing I think he's he uses uh, he was using the bullpup shotgun earlier and then he switched to an, an M4 or something um, yeah it's so like I gotta say it's really hard to uh, find attachments for this assault this uh, M4 it's like the, the attachments they use on this thing is, is it's like they don't even it doesn't even utilize the EOTech uh, um, holographic site you gotta like <clears throat> get a red dot or a um, I don't you can't even use a triticon ACOG um, you gotta use a red dot or a magnifier and I think you can you, you can add a bipod grip on it um, as well as oh yeah assault rifle sensor which I don't have yet which, I, which I'm still trying to unlock, but I can't get it on my vendor, which is ridiculous. I've gotten it for my pistol and for my SMG, and not for my sniper. I still need to get it for my sniper. I got one for my shotgun. I don't know why I would need it on my shotgun. <coughs> but yeah, I hope to bring you guys a lot more uh, Warface content in terms of just like gameplay. Um, I've been getting, a, I've just been getting a lot. Uh, there's been a lot of getting used to this game again. Because the people that you play with here are a lot different. I I got used to playing with like, uh, you know, the average Russian player, which is still pretty goddamn good in terms of Americans. Oops, I need back. Nah, it's unavoidable. When you, I was trying to back pedal and I, I was bumping into the teammate. It just didn't end well from there. Oh yeah, and there's also a lot of spawn camping on team deathmatch. It it is insane. Like the three maps you can play, like dock. Hangar and farm. Everyone's spawn camping you. It is ridiculous. I mean, ridiculous. Like, uh, uh, as soon as the momentum shifts, it's all you, it, that could cost you the game right there. I managed to get a double kill. <coughs> like, you could be leading a hundred, like, eighty to like fifty, but then let's say your team just start like you know they they start to take that twenty kill lead for granted. The momentum shifts, and you just lost. Just like the Bulls and the Heats that just played today. For the first time in 28 games, the Heat beat the Heat lost to the Bulls. Come on. My roommate's not gonna be happy about that one. He's always capitalizing on King James and, and D Wade. I didn't end up too well for them. But uh, this game's slowly dwindling down. As you can see, the gap just keeps continually growing bigger and bigger because my team had. He has no effort in trying to push back. Oh god. Oh yeah, and also the kill counter in this game is really slow. Um, by like a few seconds. Like, if you get four kills, it'll take maybe like two seconds for it to pop up on a kill counter on top. So, <laughs> like, if a, if, you're, if the game looks tied at like three seconds with 99, 90, it looks like if both teams have 99 kills, um, at three, at three seconds left, and... You know, the it could actually mean that uh, one one of your teams has actually gotten two more kills. But it won't show up for like one second, and then you win. And like, there's a lot of instances where uh, where <laughs> the last kill in the last like and then two seconds ago actually really mattered. And that was actually pretty intense. I was playing with uh, playing, I was playing with Woozles, uh the other day, but of course since I'm playing, I'm not I'm away from home. I can't show you the game because the computer can't handle it. 
can handle me recording and playing at the same time. And as you can see here, we get totally destroyed at 97 to 125, I believe. Hopefully it doesn't change. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 97 125. I think I placed third overall on my team. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of GGing all over the place. It's it's nice to hear people just GGing. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in another Warface. Hopefully I'm not losing, like, all the time.